Rahim. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe by the grace of Almighty Allah. My dear students, as today is Tuesday and the date is 16th of February 2021. This is your mathematics class and here I am Amara, your maths teacher. My dear students, in today's topic we shall learn about the angles in a triangle. So let's learn about the angles. As you can see that we have a triangle here and we know that every triangle has three sides and three vertices. So here we need to measure the angle of the triangle by using the protractor but before that we have to label the triangle means we have to give the names to all three vertices so this is angle a this is angle b and this is angle c so let's start from the angle b and it looks like the obtuse angle because it looks as greater than 90 degrees by using the protractor let's measure this angle and as we know that this is the center of the protractor and this is the baseline of the protractor. So whenever we have to measure the angle by using the protractor, the center point of the protractor must be on the vertex and the baseline of the protractor must overlap the baseline of the angle. So here is the 90 degrees and the measurement of angle A is 116 degrees. So then we have to write the angle as 116 degrees. So angle B is equals to 116 degrees. And this is obtuse angle triangle because we know when one angle in a triangle is obtuse then this type of triangle is always called obtuse angle triangle. Now we have to write the measurement of angle B on the vertex so that it will be easy for us to add all these angles because we know that the sum of the angles must be 180 degrees. So to measure the angle A, we have to rotate the protractor. We have to place the center of the protractor on the vertex A and the baseline of the protractor must be on the baseline of the angle. In this way, you have to set your protractor on the vertex and the baseline. It must be overlapped and it must look like as a single line so let's start measuring sometimes the angle always confused us and in this way you can see sometimes it looks as 37 degrees and sometimes it looks as 38 degrees so let's write it as a 38 degrees and at the end we can add and we can check if uh, we are getting more degrees then we can write it as 37 degrees we have to mark the angle a and we have to write the measurement now let's come towards the angle c Again, in the same way, we have to place the protractor. We have to place the center on the vertex. And now we have to measure the angle. And you can see it is 27 degrees. So, you have to write the measurement of angle C as... 
angle C is equals to 27 degrees and we have to mark the angle angle C is 27 degrees now to check the measurement we can just add all three angles and it must be 180 degrees because the sum of the angles in a triangles is always equals to 180 degrees but my dear students if you remember we were confused about the angle A so let's check yes when we add all these three angles we are getting as 181 degrees so it means that our confusion was correct because the angle A is 37 degrees. I hope you understood about the angles in a triangle that how we can measure them with the help of the protractor. Now my dear students let's learn about the missing angle in a triangle. So we know that when we add all three interior angles, they measure 180 degrees. So, if we have given the two angles, then to find the third angle, we need to subtract the sum of the two given angles from 180 degrees. For example, if we measure the unknown angle X in the following triangle, we follow the steps like... We can see that in this triangle, we have two angles as 68 degrees and 47 degrees. And one angle is angle X and we have to measure it. So in the first step, we have to add the given angles. So 68 degrees plus 47 degrees is equals to 115 degrees. In the second step, we have to subtract this sum from 180 degrees as the total angle is always equals to 180 degrees. So when we subtract, we get 65 degrees. So it means the angle X that, that was unknown, it is 65 degrees. I hope you understood about the angles. Just because something is difficult, it doesn't mean you should not try. It just means you should try harder and I am proud of my students, they always try harder. Thank you my dear students, take care, Allah Hafiz.